What up, Ho Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. First and foremost, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. I'm here with my husband. Hello, yeah. husband. Hey, what's up? You, you know, look like yeah, you, you. This is a Frank video. Yeah, right? you look like you're not looking forward to this video. I just remembered this video I saw about crabs, and this guy catches crabs, and then in the video, he just starts ripping the freaking head off of the crab, and then inside of the crab is sea lice. I didn't know sea lice existed until I saw the video. And this is also about crabs. And I know it's going to be in here. When I think about crabs, I think about coochie crab and that picture that somebody photoshopped of a crab hanging off a lady's coochie. I don't think about, I don't even, I don't think, <laughs> I, I think you're the only one here that thinks about that. Feel free to let me know in the comments below <laughs> which scenario you find more horrifying. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Tell me what your thoughts are. You're the only one that thought of that. Coochie crab was like a viral sensation. So this is true fra facts, incredible crab stories. There's going to be poop. There's going to be semen references. Yeah. There's probably going to be crabs crawling outside of other crabs. Yeah. Be prepared uh, for the weirdest things you've ever heard. I hope he talks about carcinization. Okay. And about how everything turns into crabs. And everything is turning into crabs. That's what I want him to talk about. I'm very, very excited. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. I think I already said that part. I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is like how it starts. And then we go like three years later <laughs> and you look like one of those people from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is probably more accurate, right? No, no, that one's fine. Oh my god. Come here, let me touch your face with my crabby hand. <laughs> Stab you in your crab neck. Oh god. <laughs> right here is an island called Christmas Island because yes, the person is. who named it first saw it on Christmas. Not that creative, but I suppose better than Today Island. And if you'd been distracted, <laughs> it might have been Yesterday Island, so not bad considering. Anyway, Christmas Island is home to, among other things, many species of crabs. And a number of those, like this red crab here, are land crabs. This means that these <laughs> crabs have adaptations that let them live completely out of the water and in burrows on the inner parts of the island. Upset with faces. one caveat, <laughs> and it's a big one. Once a year, around the start of the rainy season, 65 of these crabs leave, sorry, 65 million of these God. crabs leave the interior of the island and head for the sea. These crabs are on a mission to get laid. And that means they'll climb fences and cross bridges, and they're not waiting for the crossing guard, I'll tell you that He's much. Little thing, little these car crabs are protected him. by law, and cars even have special rings around their tires to push them out the way. So they don't crush the males them. will arrive at the coastline first and dig breeding burrows where they will meet with females and then turn right around and head home. All right. Typical. Now, the females will stay in their burrows That's for about two eggs. weeks while they brood their babies right on their bellies. When it is time, the females enter the water and. <laughs> We gotta shake all the babies off. <laughs> the crazy thing here, okay, the other crazy thing here, is that these crabs lost the equipment to be in the water. So if they stay down there, they'll, they'll drown. Just die. Some serious risky baby making. The eggs hatch almost immediately on contact with what? the water, and little crab larvae. Oh, wow! So this is the only time in their lives where they're adapted to living in water. They'll stay down here for about a month of growth. Wow. And then, well, it's time to be a land crab. So They're very, very cute. <laughs> but there's a load of yeah. them. Like, this is the oh. kind of load oh. that puts other oh. loads to shame. Right when people started removing Whoa. the weird tire things for the big crabs, now there's a carpet of millions ah. of baby crabs. And you can't step on them. <laughs> it's not easy to train for a marathon on Christmas Island, I'll tell you what. Look. Gotta run with a leaf blower. Yo. It's not easy to... Now there's a carpet of... Yeah, that right there? Looks fake. That looks AI generated. That's so uh You see them crawling on the walls too? Like they're getting lost. I feel like at this size, mm. they're like bugs to me. They are. So I'm very grossed out. When they get bigger, I'm like, oh crap, cute crap, whatever, right? Yeah. When they're this size, I'm just uh This is probably the size of like German roaches. 
Yeah. So just imagine <laughs> hordes and hordes and hordes of German Why roaches. would you say that? That's, that's what it's like, though, huh? No. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. German roaches are the roaches that live indoors and they're really tiny. And people think that they're baby roaches, but they're yeah, just not, full-grown just German Germans. roaches. And you have thousands of them. You're welcome. Got to run with a leaf blower strapped to your crotch, <laughs> apparently. Now, if you have a lot of crabs about, check, then there's probably going to be a number of things that want to eat those crabs. I mean, cannibalism is a bit distasteful, but <laughs> you'll forgive an expecting mother a few dietary quirks, won't you? But a mama cannibal is the least of their worries. You'll see. Okay, but like, theoretically, could you scoop them up and put them in a stew? The little baby crabs? Uh-huh. No, it's probably mostly shell. Or like in a dumpling. It's probably mostly shell. Do you shell. think the shell is hard at that point? Like they're so they're it's little just, babies. I'm just saying it is. Pro it's just shell. It's, mm. just, it's not. And these are not like Alaskan crab that you eat. These are like walking around dirt crabs. They're like shit crabs. I guess. Just eating garbage. <laughs> <laughs> sure, a mother might eat a baby or two, but what red crabs really have to worry about are these little bastards. Tens of oh, millions of crabs sense. on Christmas Island Jeez. have been killed by them. Yeah. They're called yellow crazy ants, yeah. not the good kind of crazy either. They're a type of formicine ant, like Dr. Adrian Smith's Formica archbolly here, which means that they spray formic acid Ooh. out their butts. The ants will swarm the crabs and get the acid on their eye stalks and mouth wow. parts and legs and all that, and they're screwed. But acid isn't the, sorry, butt acid isn't <laughs> yeah. the only thing they have to look out for. They got this fucking thing coming yeah. down from above. I mean, it's not so much of a precision strike. It looks a bit run. like hunting for rabbits with a sledgehammer. You got it! You got anyway, it! You've get heard out of, of there, this buddy. one. It's another land crab called the coconut, coconut crab. Crabs. I mean, these things can get up to three feet across. They're huge. And they're not just big, Damn, they're crazy strong. They can pinchy pinchy with twice the force of a lion's pinchy, bite. Pinchy. To handle that kind of force, their claws are made from this crisscrossing matrix of calcium carbonate. That's cool. It's referred to as a plywood structure. <laughs> it's kind of lame. I'd call it dragon steel. <laughs> anyway, they're impressive. The large just terrestrial invertebrate. Look at that, they climb trees. But that's not even the surprising bit about them. You know it is. Their abdomen, which is sort of tucked under them, is leathery instead of having a hard shell. That's because when they're babies, they start out like this. That's right, they're, they're hermit, hermit crabs. crabs. They just kept growing and ran out of things big enough to fit that Wow. Ass. Now, hermit crabs have a bit of a shell fetish, some more than others. But it isn't just about finding a shell that fits. A number of terrestrial hermit crabs modify the inside of the shells they live oh, in, hollowing sure, them out to make them roomier and lighter, but still strong enough to withstand the biting force of the things that hunt right. them. Now, as they molt and grow, hermit crabs need to move into bigger shells, and shells that have already been renovated are choice. So they'll often line up in That's what are called so vacancy cute. chains, yeah, which that? allows them to do their business quickly since it's a bit dangerous. And it means that most of the crabs get to move into a house with a finished basement, right. so to speak. I do think the one that inherited the shell with a hole in it got a bit right, shafted. Kind of up, but, but of okay. course, if you're in a hurry and don't have time to get in a conga line, the other option is to try Steal and it. forcibly mm -hmm. evict the yeah. crab from a bungalow you have your eye on. And this might be why crabs that renovate their shells have larger penises. Stay with me I'm on this sorry? one. sorry? So when hermit crabs hey. mate, the male tries to coax the female to emerge from her shell and expose, kids, cover your ears, the middle region of her cephalothorax. Can't believe we didn't yeah, do that. Yeah, that's crazy. Then the male deposits sperm on her, not in, on her, and she goes back in her shell and, well, does what she wants with it. Don't judge, you live in a shell your whole life. Kinky sex is all you have. Anyway, to expose his penis and deposit his sperm, the male has to partially leave his shell. Mm -hmm. And that means his shell can be stolen. Right. That's a normal thing they have to yeah. worry about when they get laid. I so can just that take, means his I can shell just take can be shell stolen. Off. And that's a normal thing to have to worry about when they get laid. So the theory is that crab species that invest more in their shells have proportionally much longer penises, as you can see here. So they can still hold on and protect their shells when they mate. Mm -hmm. Of course, hermit crabs aren't the only crabs that accessorize. Okay. The sponge crab, for <gasps> example, is quite the milliner, or haberdash, whatever. Bro! He looked like the crackhead of crabs. <laughs> <laughs> he's wild, look, he's wired like, yeah! He looks like that frog that screams. He does. He's so like cute. Little spikes. I kind of love him. Like, he looks crazy, crazy. but like... Cute also. Like, don't fuck with me! <laughs> like, just always yelling for no reason. 
They're into hats. Mm -hmm. They just happen to make them out of living animals in the phylum Peripherum, what? or sponges. That's funny. The crab gets some stylish <laughs> camouflage, and the sponge gets to move about, okay. which is great because sponges lack well, pretty Legs. much everything. Yeah. But like those terrestrial <laughs> hermit crabs, the sponge crab isn't always content wearing things straight out the box. Mm. You've got to customize it and get the fit right. Here you can see a sponge crab work its magic on a commercial sponge. The crab not only cuts it down to size, but it also hollows it out so it sits just right on top of the dome. <laughs> I mean, if it's not perfect, it still has to hold on with two little modified pairs of legs I in the back. Crabs. Now, some decorator crabs, like this one in the genus Hylostomus, wow. also wear sponges, but not really as a like hat. Armor. More like a full-body mascot yeah. for a banana stand. Wow. And that's what decorator crabs do. They put crap all over themselves, and they don't need to use modified oh gosh, legs to hold on to it. Hey, he's a genius. Bro. That, that's a crab with vision. Yes. Yeah. He's, wow. I wonder what kind of eyes they have to be able to see this level of detail. This man is wearing a ghillie suit. That, and I'm saying, like, they have the ability to imagine upwards what it looks like uh -huh. from different perspectives. Yeah. That's what's so impressive is, like, a lot of animals can't see straight ahead. Mm -hmm. But that level of 3D, right. like, they imaging. They don't have that level of spatial awareness, crazy, really. Crazy, dude. Yeah. It's like a computer up there. That's nuts. Look at that. That's cool. What they're wearing. They're covered in a sort of Velcro, mm -hmm. specialized barred sack that can hang on to whatever's the current fashion trend. And that includes some outerwear that'll f you up if you come in for an unwanted hug. Mark. Like coral polyps, they sting, or anemones like this one. Make it armor for anemone video anatomy, game. You'll know that they're shaped a bit like a bag. Come on, you've got to take advantage of that if you're a crab. A number of crabs in the genus Pagaropsis grow up with an anemone friend on their butts. Mm. And they can actually pull them up over their bodies like a blanket. And that's a cool thing for the crab. And of course, the anemone. Her crab Win win. <laughs> or you could turn the anemone around oh. and pretend you're a rocket. <laughs> Look, I'm oh. a rocket. I mean, but come on. This looks like two buddies having fun together. Like Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> if Hobbes was firmly attached to Calvin's ass. <laughs> Now, the boxer crab, on the other hand, well, both hands reading, has a different relationship with anemones. They spend their lives carrying anemones in their front claws. He's it's pretty trolling. much impossible to find one that doesn't have these little pom-poms. Oh, look at the lips on that one. Look at that! The claws seem to have been adapted to the job. They're fairly tiny, and they have these little pores all over them, which seem to be sensory helping to make sure the anemone is being held in the right position. Wow. Of course, this means that those two front claws are out of commission for those normal claw right. activities. But remember, these aren't ordinary mittens. Here's a shot of an octopus right after it was just touched by one of those <laughs> little yeah. stinging oven mitts. It's got a real get I me the f*** out of here vibe. <laughs> and here's a fish about to take it in the eyeball. Damn. But it's not just about defense. Those tentacles are grabby-grabby. Look at that anemone and pluck wow. that shrimp right out the that's water. Impressive. And then, look at the crab take it away. So now he's got shrimp, another bitch. set of claws back there. Look at him holding the anemone at arm's length while he munches. I mean, it's a bit f***ed up. Right. But it gets worse. These crabs seem to intentionally starve the anemones to keep them just the right yeah. size. It's like uh, how like falconry works. Yes. You keep the falcons hungry, yep. so then they go and catch it, but then you also have to train the falcon to bring it back. Very similar. If you take them off the claws and let them eat normal, they, they'd they grow be big. big, even change shape. And to add injury to insult, you know what happens when a boxer crab loses one of those little he boxing gloves? It friggin' tears the other one in half. Oh, I mean, they oh. are good at regenerating, but still. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, you'd rather be a butt rocket, wouldn't you? Now, there is one time that the crab has to let go of its precious anemones when it molts and sheds its skeleton. Smart. You can see that transparent, newly molted crab behind its old body. And the first thing it does is to reach around and grab that pom-pom. Now, molting is a whole thing for crabs. Gotta crack yourself open from the back and shimmy out. It's complicated, especially the legs, for gosh oh. sakes. It's a oh. vulnerable time for a crab. Oh. It's like when you try to change a bathing suit under a towel on the beach, except the towel is the skin. I don't know. Just be glad you don't have to molt. Comes on all of a sudden and you're naked, wriggling on the floor of your cubicle. Janet from accounting comes in all, Oh, sweetie, is there anything I can do to help? No, Janet. Just leave me alone until I harden up a bit. And then you hear down the hall tell everyone, Dave wants to be alone while he gets hard. <laughs> and now it's just a countdown to an HR show. <laughs> I, oh, 
Oh my god. Watching the scene is so interesting. Yeah, but then his commentary oh is crazy. God, dude, that's also, so good. I don't know how I thought crab molting worked. Yeah. It was I I think maybe I thought it was kind of more gradual, kind of like like how snakes like lose pieces of their skin uh, all at once. Like, like getting off. like getting a full snake shed is mm-hmm. very impressive. I thought because especially because it was in the water, yeah, and they throw the other shell underneath. Mm-hmm. I thought it flakes off in pieces, yeah, and I really thought they came out the front end, yeah, of the stuff, yeah, shimming out the back is not what I expected. Like taking off a condom, yeah. right? And now it's just a countdown to when HR shows up. <laughs> And you're still trying to get your left toe out your old skin. Like this Please bastard stop. here. Oh my God. Listen, the point Somebody is, it's a time them. when the crab can't really move and they're all baby soft. And you've seen what we do to soft shell crabs. At least hermit crabs Fine. can do it in the privacy of their own home. And some species bury their molts afterwards. The thinking is, is that they're trying to hide the evidence from predators that yeah. there's a newly molted delicious mm. crab hey, around. Smart, bro. And they do a good job of it too. No one ever tells them that. Except me just now. <laughs> Great. The spider crabs let the Mithrax Giamatti make a whole production out of molting. Each year, Ah! thousands and thousands of these crabs make a trek from the deep where they live to the shallow waters off the coast of Australia. It's a lot of crabs and a long trip, so you can't blame one for sitting down, cross-legged, and having a little raw of our clam. When they get to where they're going, they form these giant pyramids of crab. I know what you're thinking. Orgy, right? But it, it wasn't. doesn't seem like that that's what they're up to. It wasn't. I mean, I'm sure there's a few of them diddling somewhere in the middle. But instead, this seems to be a strategy to stay safe while they molt. They're like, come on, join the pile. It's safety in We're numbers. We're all taking our skins uh, off. Okay, but I'm on the outside. It's all right. Just convince a couple others to cover you up. You'll be fine. It's like a literal pyramid scheme. Ah. But whatever they're doing seems to work, even with predators about looking for a soft bite. Wow. Now, molding doesn't just replace everything that's there. It can also regenerate a part of the body that's missing. And if we're on that subject, some male fiddler crabs have a secret. If you are one and you're watching, the jig is up. I'm ratting you out. Here's the deal. You may have noticed that the male fiddler crab has one really (laughs) big f***ing claw. Or BFC for short. Got a lifetime membership to the BFC Society. Now, these claws have two main functions. One is to intimidate and potentially fight other males. They have burrows and a homestead to protect, and sometimes might be another male just talking shit. And for a fight, you probably want a big, meaty, muscular claw. But the other function of their BFC is, well, dating. Female fiddler crabs, whose claws are much more proportionate Mm. and well-suited to eating dirt, among other things, are attracted to males with big, long claws. But not just any crab with a big, long claw. A crab with a big, long claw that says, Hey! And that's what the males do on a Saturday hey. night. They wave and try to get a female over. over to the burrow. They can't call. But it's not just the yeah. size of the equipment. It's the way that they wave it's that so matters, cute. too. I mean, it varies from species this to species, so but generally a female likes a male that waves first. Ah! Oh. Now, you've seen animals that have these intricate mating dances, the fish that makes the whole pad, and the crabs go, boys, big dicks, wave them. They're like, I feel you, bro. What if I just use my claw? It's like, I feel that. The whole thing with the the crab does, he just goes, hey, yo, what's up, ma? Yeah. Like. (laughs) Come Come on here. May reflect a little bit, huh? You see the size of that thing? And he said that they want the crab that waves first, but like. First is relative, so he just gotta keep fucking waving. Keep waving. I'll be first in line one way. Smile and wave, boys. Right. <laughs> That's funny. What can happen, though, is clusters of males all try to <laughs> wave first, and they end up waving in unison. <laughs> kind of backfires. So females also like males that get in some extra waves in between oh. the group wave. All that waving can add up, and you can see how for mating you want a long claw that's light. So you can keep waving until you get a date. So you can see there's two competing right, pressures on the size claw, and weight of the claw. But also a Many light fiddler claw. crabs seem to strike a balance between the two. Strong enough to be effective right. and not get crushed in a fight, but long and light enough for attracting a mate. But she dipped there's out, things bro. that like to eat crabs, and if your claws half your body, uh, they'll probably go for that uh, first. But crabs have evolved these breakage points designed to let the crab lose a leg or claw and make a getaway. He said, I'm out of here, I'm bro. Just he- did. 
over the next and few I'm months, gone. that claw yeah, will grow back. Yeah. Well, maybe not on that yeah, part. Yeah, about forty percent of males or so have these regenerated claws. When they finish growing, they're just as long wow. or even longer than the original, but they're not strong. Right. So there's a bunch of males out there bluffing their way out of fights with what is essentially a foam finger <laughs> and then waving it around with less effort to attract <laughs> the females, nice. which don't seem to notice the difference. But now you're all busted. Yo, that was, that was so great. Dude. I think crabs are so freaking I know, I cool. love, dude, I love crabs. I really do. And the way that, that you talk about them, you have to talk about them. Yeah. Because the, they don't have much of a personality when you first see them. Right. But they're so intricate. Mm -hmm. And that makes them even that cool, much cooler, dude. He did not talk about carcinization. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to find a different video where I can talk about that because oh. I still think the concept There was like really minimal cool. sperm talk in this one. Oh, he did so well. Yeah. I'm, I was very proud. You know, there wasn't really a part where I felt that uncomfortable. Yeah, normally, not that uncomfortable. Normally, yeah. in a Frank video, I'm like, Ugh. yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and in this one, it was it was like more of a hit. It you also know? like also made make sense because we really really like yeah. crabs. That yeah, this was I a do. very cool one. I do like. Thanks crabs. for this. I'm glad that this was such a fun vid. Thanks for I'm joining glad, me. Yeah, this I was a memorable it. one. Easily top fives of Frank vids. Absolutely, 100. Yeah. Yeah. percent Um, make sure you guys stay tuned. Chavez and I are gonna be watching some Lindsay Nicole vids. If you haven't already checked out our Casual Geographic, CJ the Champ, Tier Zoo vids, go do that. Unless this video comes out first and those videos aren't out yet, in which case, like watch this video and then come back and watch the other videos. You right. feel me? Y'all y'all know, y'all understand, y'all yeah. feel me. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your reaction requests and recommendations down in the comments below. And other than that, Sweet act, sweet act, sweet act. Peace out, hope it's 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 getting lit. It's a TikTok. It's a confirmation. Day. You wouldn't thing. get you wouldn't get it.